I'm Desiree Haney, and in the band I play cello mostly, and sometimes keys. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Meg, I play drums in the band. All right, so uh, uh, I'm Galen, and uh, I play guitars and dobro and sing, I guess. Do a lot of writing. Hi, I'm Ryan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan, and I'm the fiddle player for Black Horse Motel. Megan and I are the two longest running members of the band. So we've been in Black Horse Motel since 2010, so it's almost seven years for us. I started playing drums when I was nine. Um, that's what my school, when you started to play an instrument. I was torn between that and the saxophone, and honestly, the band teacher needed drummers. So I bit. Okay, so uh, I grew up in a house with, uh, my dad did a lot of playing music, so running back and forth across the living room to in the hall of the Mountain King on piano. Uh, so I started playing piano because that was the instrument I was used to, but uh, it's really hard to get a piano out to the football field. Hearing a lot of country music, my parents just loved playing country. Um, I was like, I'll play the fiddle. I was playing with a, in a totally different band um, that ended up breaking up. Uh, it was more like a rock and roll kind of thing. So uh, yeah, that band split up for a number of reasons. And so it was me and the, the one guitar player. Um, we kind of were, you know, still into playing together. So we just put out some feeler ads on Craigslist and met some people and, uh, you know, formed what was the primordial Black Horse Motel. The band found out that I had a cello sitting around that someone had given me. I had no idea how to play it, and they were like, dude, you gotta play the cello. And I was like, I have no idea how to play the cello, and they're like, that you're gonna figure it out. And I mean, we, we, we went through some transitions. We kind of, this acoustic rock kind of thing, and do we wanna be like sort of, I don't know, like, like, like a college rock band, like what, what do you wanna do? And um, it's like, you know, your friend has a mandolin, he brings it over, he uses it on a track, and everybody goes, oh. I was on Craigslist one night, and Black Horse Motel was there and I sent them the only cocky email I've ever sent anyone. <laughs> I said, hey, I think what I'm, what I'm playing is really cool and I think it would go great with what you're playing and if you think so too, you should get in touch. Um, I figured that was a, uh, a strong opening. <laughs> Performing is, is a totally different animal and you can never capture it at a rehearsal. And you're always chasing the dragon of trying to capture it in the studio. It's just a, an organic energy that you get on stage from us that, that's hard to portray in recordings. So people like to see us live. Like every other band that has a, a woman in the band, it's usually, you know, a woman who's in the front singing and she's backed up by a bunch of guys. What's so empowering about this group is you know, the women are holding it down. And I really love that. I've got Meg holding a foundation. I've got Des that I can really like play off of and feel comfortable on stage with. I would say we are a drum heavy rock band that happens to feature predominantly acoustic instrumentation. And I know that is oxymoronical, if that's a word, but there it is, you know? And then we threw in an electric guitar for a few songs just to, you know, give the audience what they want. But then we refused to give them bass because we don't want them to mistake us for a real rock band. You know, it might be a cliche thing to say, you make the music that you like, you make music for you. It is awesome when other people like it. I don't know if how much, you know, how long we would continue to play, like, as musicians and go through all the, you know, rigmarole of getting to gigs and rehearsals and all the stuff if you didn't have people that liked what you were doing. But at the end of the day, the four people that are in that room made a decision and they like what it is and that's kind of it. When we're on stage, it, it really feels good. It's like a family and I can, you know, I can have confidence that I don't always have in everyday life, you know? I think we all have the same goal and that is to be a touring band and to make money enough to live off of. None of us are looking to be famous. We just want this to be our career.